Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and as you guys know, it is the Breeders' Cup this weekend. And as you also know, I want to give a full breakdown of my favorite plays from the weekend, or for the weekend. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be around much as we get closer to the races. I'm going to be away, and uh, I don't know what kind of connection I'll have. So just in case, I wanted to get something out there. Um, and again... This comes with the usual disclaimers, you know, I'm going to, I have an idea of what these odds are going to be, but I can't promise you that. And there also could be some scratches that uh, take some of these guys out, but I did want to at least give you my breakdown for the Breeders' Cup. And I did identify a couple of decent values throughout the two cards. Um, I'm not going to get into how I come up with all this stuff. I'm not going to get into sheet theory or anything like that, but needless to say, you're taking advantage of, of quite a long, quite a long, uh, resume of success at this endeavor um and again if you want to thank me for this you know you could uh, sign up for true dfs uh, where we do a lot of daily fantasy sports content as well and what's also cool about the breeders cup is this is one of the one of the cards i don't mind giving away what i like because you know no one's going to be able to bet enough to affect my price in a uh in, during, <laughs> during the breeders cup day uh, nonetheless, uh, we are just going to go through this. And again, I'm not going to get into all the details of why I like this, this, this. This is straight going to be who I think the best values are. And uh, uh, I, I encourage you to wait until as long as possible to bet these things because, you know, something at 10 to 1 is terrible at 3 to 1, et cetera. And I'll try to give you some guidelines to what I think you should be betting here. So let's just start with the uh, Breeders' Cup ju Juvenile Turf Sprint. Um, my two top values there are going to be the eight horse who is cherry blossom. He's going to be 12 to one. Um, actually, yeah, 12 to one. And I think that's a very, very good price on this one. And then also committee of one who's eight. To one. So I would, you know, depending on your risk tolerance, you play them in exactly as you play either of them to win. You start with these guys in some daily doubles, pick threes, pick fours, pick fives. Depends on what you want to do. But I think if either of these horses are at their morning lines, I think they're very reasonable. I think they're extremely strong values. I think I would even go down to eight to one on Cherry Blossom. Might even go down a little bit more on Committee of One. I like both of these horses a decent amount. Okay, next race on Friday is going to be the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. And we'll pull up the entries. And I wrote down two horses that I thought were okay here. One of them is Brightwork at 12 to 1. That's a, that's a very, very good price. So I like that. And also Candied, who is the one. Uh, at four to one so that's not exactly that great so he's probably going to be a little bit too chalky so i would say officially probably the best value is going to be the nine bright work so again you could go the first race you could pair cherry blossom and committee of one with bright work for like that could pay zillions or or even you could use exactas with brightwood and and candied if you wanted to you know play something a little chalkier okay moving on the juvenile philly Juvenile Philly Turf. If I'm not mistaken, I didn't really like anybody there that much, but let's just look real quick. I wrote down a couple. Law Lead, Law, Law Lead at 15 to 1. That wasn't bad. Uchu, 6 to 1. Austere, I thought was okay, but what's his price? Her price? 12 to 1. All right, that's not bad. So, so that's those are gonna be the two that I would put in values, uh, put it as good values. The 10 austere and the four Lulin or Lolm. Can't even, I wouldn't even imagine how to pronounce that. Lolny. Anyway, I think those are the top values in this race. Um, hook them up with some of the previous ones, start new ones with the subsequent ones, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. The next race, there's only a couple more on the Friday. We have the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and I really don't have much here. Let me just double check, but I think I wrote down like five different horses I liked. Um, yeah, so I don't like much, but okay, I'll give you the ones I wrote down. The 10, Muth, the um, 
eight general partner, six locked, um, Monaco, and the wine steward. So nothing good as far as value goes, but to fill out a pick four or pick five, you can spread and use all those guys. So if those previous long shots hit, you still have some action. And then we get to the juvenile Philly um, turf. No, just the juvenile turf, actually. And I actually like somebody here. That's a pretty decent amount relative to his price. That would be the 10, full Mineo. I think the nine is pretty good too at five to one, but for this price, I think full Mineo is really strong. So once you've lost all the other bets that I recommended this day, um, if you want to go on tilt, full Mineo at 20 to one is a good way to do it. And that'll do it for the Friday card. Now let's turn the page, both figuratively and literally, and talk about the big day, the Saturday Breeders' Cup, where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Breeders' Cup races. I think I like something. I have some recommendations in maybe eight of them. So let's just see what we got here. First of all, the Breeders' Cup turf, or excuse me, dirt mile. Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. I like a couple of things. Charge at five to one is okay, but let's see something else. Cody's Wish is nine. Have, okay, so this this race is really not that great. Um, both the favorites here, Cody's Wish and also Charge it look good. So I wouldn't I wouldn't go crazy there. The only thing you might want to do is if you want to start off pick fives with these two, that's fine. But it's not as if any of them are either of them are that great value. All right, moving ahead. Breeders' Cup, Philly and Mare Turf. Here's another one that you, know, you don't really have that great of a price. I mean, I like it in Italians okay at four to one. And then Fev Rover at eight to one. All right, so that's not bad. So Fev Rover, eight to one would probably be my best value alongside of Italian. So again, if you wanted to start off pick fives with Charge at Cody's Wish in the first leg and then Italian Fev Rover in the second leg. I mean, you you start to build up a little equity. You know, it's nothing's that long, but they're middling, so they they definitely do add up. And moving on to the third race, which is well, I don't know if it's the third race, it's the third Breeders' Cup race, the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. No, Philly and Mare Turf. It's the Philly and Mare Turf. Or the, oh, this was the Philly and Mare Turf. Sorry, I just did that one. Look at Philly and Mare Sprint. The PNC Bank, Philly and Mare Sprint. All right. So we liked a couple here. We have, well, society is a little bit too chalky, so that's not a big deal. And then, yeah, not so great. Good good night, Olo. So the two chalks here. So not a really good betting race here, to, to say the least. So I don't like that. But if you want to, you know, play the dirt mile with Charge at Cody's Wish, and then Phillies and Mare Turf, you get through with Italian and Feb Rover, and then you chalk out a little bit with Society and, and, and the Olive Horse. I got something for you in the next race, which is the Breeders' Cup Mile. And this is a mile on the turf. Um, there, there are two horses that are pretty solid at decent prices. One is Casa Creed, 8-1, to one, and also uh, – uh, somebody on the outside. Master of Seasons in bad 7-2. But the big bomb here is the one, Sheryl Spite. I think this is an incredible value here at 30-1. to 1. So I would use Sheryl Spite and Casa Creed at the bottom end of, like, pick fives and everything. And, you know, that's why I don't mind the first couple of races, like, being a little chalky. Because we're going to hook it up with Sheryl Spite. And if God forbid Sheryl Spite wins, so that's a big, big payout. So... I do like Cheryl Spite, Casa Creed. And then, listen, if you're afraid that, you know, you're not that, you know, you want to take the risk, Master of Seas at 72 is very strong, so you can use him in the exact box with the aforementioned two. Unfortunately, the Distaff is the one race, I think, on the whole, both cards, I just don't have an opinion at all. Um, I, I'm going to use almost every horse in the pick six. It's just not a good betting race. So you're going to pass on that one. All right. Um, the Breeders' Cup turf, 1.5 miles. 
Um, I think that there is, when I say a lock, I mean, like, I, I think there's someone that should be even money and he's going off. It says five to one morning line. I don't, I'm, I don't buy it, but whatever. Up to the mark is clearly the most likely winner. Um, and if you get five to one, you should be betting it. How about that? Even if you get seven to two, I think you should be betting it. I mean, it's just, it's clearly the best horse in the race. And the rates are run really, really strong. Um, in the Classic. Now, unfortunately, the Classic is not the last race of the day anymore. I have no idea why. Uh, but I'm not going to mess around with the order. I'm just going to go right in order here. So I do have a couple of things in the Classic. Um, I think the most likely winner is White Abario. And this is not going to be particularly uh, earth-shattering. I think he's going to be the favorite. Um I do think he's the most likely winner, but there, there are some, there's some, some, there's some stuff here. Zandon is not bad at 12 to one. Saudi crown is not bad at 12 to one, even Clapton at 20 to one. I think what's probably the best overall value on the whole, in the whole race is senior Buscador though. The nine senior Buscador 30 to one morning line. It's probably going to go off less because the favorite was scratched here. Right. Archangelo. So everybody's going to go off cheaper, but I think Senior Buscador is the is the is the best value of them all. Uh, Bright Future I like also. So what I would do is I would put Buscador with a Barrio, Zandon, Bright Future, and put him in second also, and take a shot. Uh, I think it's uh, listen. I've bet much worse thirty to one shots in my life. I promise you. All right. So once you've lost all your money there, and now you've lost all your money in the classic, like who wants to stick around for the Remaining two Breeders' Cup races, uh, but we're we're gonna we're we're in for it. Breeders' Cup turf sprints, very very strong um, uh, long shot here. I have for you guys. Again, okay, you're not gonna want to do it because you've lost all your money betting on all my other crap the last couple of days. But if you're still around and you want to do it, Roses for Deborah the nine is very strong at twelve to one. So. Listen, if you can get a boost uh, 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 up to the mark, Buscador and, and Roses for Deborah pick three home, I mean, that's insane. Um, okay, and then if all of if you didn't like any of that and you lost all of your money and uh, you told your wife like you were going to be home and you're not, and then you like borrowed money off a credit card and, and you just you, 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 you borrowed from people that you, you're never going to be able to pay back unless you win this next race. I unfortunately don't have much for you. <laughs> uh, I think Gunite's fine at four to one, um, and then I guess Doctor Shivel's good, okay, five to one. But overall, the sprint's pretty, uh, pretty bad race. So hopefully, there was enough over the Friday Saturday to get you uh, juiced up. Hopefully that those horses don't scratch. Hopefully they get to the gate without you know reasonable odds. And uh, that should do it. If anything really earth shattering happens that I think I should update you on, I will, but I really, really doubt it. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, good luck in the Breeders' Cup.